Welcome to this session of Code Bytes. We are going to cover some basic loops that you might use um, in a game. So, a loop, uh, one example is a for loop, and we can say 4x, which is just a counter. Um, the x will start at 0 and go up to the value that we specify. So, we can say 4x in range and then put in a 5 if we want. Um, it to do five five times and then it will print um, X and You can see that the range the loop starts at zero and goes to four it prints five times Starting with zero then one then two then three then four and This is called a basic for loop. We also might want our for loop to print out um, a warning in a game. So we could say for count in range and let's say we want to print it out five times again we can print maybe something like the word alarm or maybe you could do fight and it'll print out the alarm five times. Um, another example might be a countdown for a race, which you'll see in the sports ex race example. Um, another way that we could um, use a loop is to print out something you know, consecutively. So we can say 4x in range 0 comma 5 and then that's give sorry one second 4x in range 0 comma 0 comma 5 colon and then we want to print out those numbers in association with some word so we can concatenate counter by using the percent sign and then S for string and then closing the quotes and then we need to use the percent sign again and the variable name which in this case is X and if we print this out it's going to print out the, our word our text which is hello and then each time through the loop it's going to print out the counter which is starts at 0 and goes to 4 and is incremented by 1. So what the loop is actually doing is printing out a range of numbers from 0 to 4. So the 0 is what we call the inclusive number and the 5 is exclusive because we don't include the 5. Because computers start at 0, the counter always starts at 0. And therefore if we're going to go up to the number 5, we don't print that out and therefore we get 5 times that the message is printed out with the numbers in this case 0 to 4. Um, you can also have something called an indefinite loop. Um, so we can say, let's say you want, you're playing hide and seek and you tell the person they need to count down from a number and then say here, here I come. So we could say x is equal to 0 and while x is less than 20 then we want to print x and notice I have gotten myself into an infinite loop and that is because I never increased x and so the loop will go on forever so I'm going to restart the shell and that might happen in your game loop so let's try this again. We'll say x is equal to 0 and we'll say while x is less than 20 we're going to go back and print x again but we also need to have x count up so we'll have it count up by 1 and notice you get the count and then you could print something like here I come 
in your game if you were playing something like hide and seek or um, you could adapt this to another game of your choice. Another kind of loop that we could use is one that's um, asked the user to input numbers. Let's say we have uh, a race and you have the number of minutes that it takes someone to complete the race and you want to figure out what the average um, time for completing the race is. So we could say we need to set up a variable called num and we'll use the eval method on the input method because you remember the default for input is a string and then eval will turn that string into a number so I'll ask the user how many to, how many race scores they want to average And then we'll um, close that cool prompt off. And then I'll just say four numbers. And then I'm going to create a variable to for the to for the sum of those numbers. I'll just set it to zero. And then I'm going to use my loop. And I'll just use i as the count variable. And now I can pass in the variable for the number of times in my loop. Except I want to use num. Because the before the person is entering the number of cores they want to average. And then we'll set up the score variable and set it equal to eval input. And our prompt will be to enter a number or enter a score. And then we're, we're going to um, sum up the score. So we'll say sum is equal to sum plus our score that we enter. And then so we'll say that it took someone 7.8 minutes, 8.2 minutes, 6.9 minutes, 7.3 minutes. And now we can print the average of those scores by just saying print. We'll say the average race score is, and we'll take the sum and divide it by the number of scores that we entered. And this gives us the average of 7.55. So this is um, an interactive loop. These are loops where the user interacts with the loop by, in this case, entering numbers. Another kind of loop might be to print out items in an array or a list. These are called enhanced for loops. So let's set up an array of some foods that you might buy at the store. So we'll say apples beans, broccoli, not my favorite, but it might be yours, oranges, and cabbage. I do like cabbage on a good um, Reuben. And then uh, what I want to do is I'm going to set up a variable called item. And I'm going to say for item in foods, so what's happening in here is that um, an item is being taken out of the foods array. In the first case, it's apples and being put into the items variable. And then we want to print each of those items. And then the loop goes through and does it again. Whoops. Let's see, we have, it's foods. So we need to change our loop here to foods, which is the name of our array. And so 
The first time through the loop, apples, which is in the first position in the array, is put into item, and that gets printed out. And the second time through the loop, beans, which is the second item in the array, gets put into item and is get printed, gets printed out. And it just continues through the entire array until it gets to the end. And this is the nice part about enhanced for loops is that you're guaranteed that they go through the entire array and whatever you're doing each time through the loop it treats each item in the array the same. And you'll see an instance of this in the project. And that is it for um, this session on basic loops. See you next time.